Hi, my name is Chris Ryan. Welcome to the Forest of Arden. And today we're going to show you how you can shallow the golf club in the early part of your downswing with the driver. So welcome back to the Forest of Arden and today we're tackling that subject of how to shallow the golf club. This is definitely a hot topic at the moment, has been for a while now, and it's something which I'm going to guess that you know a fair few people are searching for. Um, and certainly I would say that you know from the coaching that I do, uh, you know, still full-time coach, it's certainly something that would help many, many golfers. Um, it's almost almost going to be the most common problem that we see, uh, you know, a golfer where from the top they tend to get the golf club shaft too steep. There are examples of golfers who play the game you know, pretty well from here. Phil Mickelson's a great example of that. Um, gets the club very, very steep and obviously he's, he's done okay. Um, but, you know, for the majority of golfers, it tends to give them a lot of problems down at impact. It tends to rob them of speed. Their strike tends to go. They can't control the curve, all these kind of things. So if we can basically get a golfer in that early downswing to get the golf club onto a better angle, um, so closer to horizontal, we would generally tend to see you know some better things happening at impact they're able to rotate a little bit better uh, they're able to control their path a little bit better um, and with a little bit of practice we tend to see them be able to play the game to a higher standard and that's kind of what we're trying to do in this video so we're going to go through a little exercise that uh, i want you to try and do if you if you are that golfer who gets that club shaft a little bit too steep this is this is definitely going to help you so let's quickly just cover a few little topics before we do that this video is definitely going to apply to those of you who are under the impression that you are over the top, you're steep. Let's just quickly go through what that could look like. So as I make my backswing, I could begin to move the club like this, and this golf club will be too steep. As I begin to move myself more towards impact, we would say that golf club is over the top. It's kind of coming from too much out in front of me. Uh, you know, many golfers, if they see this on camera, are going to see that as being over the top. Let me just do that again for you. And I want you to notice how when I move the club into that poor position, my left hand hasn't really moved. It's more the fact that I've rotated my forearms, or my lead forearm, I should say, to get the club too steep. So when that club in that little example moved out and over the top, it wasn't because my hand moved in this place. And this is what we tend to see. Very, very rarely do I see a golfer move their arms too much out this way. It happens, don't get me wrong. But more often we see it's just the golf club that's being tipped into a steep position. So for me to fix that, I wouldn't really want to feel like my arms are being pulled behind me because it's not the arms that are the issue. So the last thing that you want to do, if you are that golfer who feels that you're over the top, is you don't, do not want to feel that from the top, you're dropping your arms behind you because what you'll actually find will more likely happen is that will actually create a steeper club shaft and then we are pretty much in the same position we were before. So really important if you are over the top and you feel like your golf club is steep, you're not trying to just throw the arms too far behind you because that's not going to improve it, it's actually going to make the problem a little bit worse. So we're going to get you to control the golf club from the top with your hands and wrists, not your arm. So as I take my starting position, if I hold my lead forearm and just with my wrist, you can see I've got a fair bit of motion with my wrist and my hand. That's coming from here rather than my forearm. So here's what I want you to try and do in practice. You're gonna make your backswing. And without moving my lead arm, I want you to try and push the club head in two different places. You're gonna try and push the club head behind you and down to the ground. So you can see me doing that there and pushing the club head down and behind me. Now a little bit of that is coming from rotation of my lead forearm. We call it pronation, where we're working this lead forearm in this movement here. But I don't want you to worry too much about what's actually moving, just focus on the club head. So from here, as I push that club head down and behind me, you can see that my lead arm is not really changing too much. If I do that with both hands on the golf club, you're gonna see that movement in here. Now, that feels a little different in my right arm, obviously, but that's what we're gonna try and feel. Now, if I was to make this little movement on its own, you can see that club does move down and behind me. But the reality is, as I'm doing this, I would also be rotating my body. And that's gonna sort of start to change the look of that movement. But what it's actually gonna do, it's gonna move the club head down behind me, closer to the ground. And what we're actually gonna find at this point here is the club is a little lower to the ground, which is a good thing. The club head is slightly behind my hands, which again is a good thing. I'm more likely from here to deliver the club with a path which is more to the right of the target and an attack angle which is slightly more upwards. 
You compare that to the golfers who get that club a little steep this way. From here, you'll notice how the club head is much higher, much more out in front of me. From here, my options are really a downward hit and a left hit. And from here, I'm gonna find I really wanna feel like I have to jump out the way because I don't feel particularly comfortable where that golf club is being delivered from. So this is what I would like you to do. You're gonna take your starting position. If you feel that golfer is you with that steeper club shaft, you're gonna go up to the top and you're gonna make that movement and feel what it's like. Notice my lead arm is not moving. Once I've done a couple of those, I'm gonna to start to add the rotation. Once I add the rotation, I start to get that club working more into this delivery position that I want it. From here, I can just go ahead and swing through. Understanding how we use these forearms and these wrists in that dowsing is really important if you're trying to shallow that golf club and you're trying to move it into a different place. This forearm working in this movement, so glove logo more out in front of me down towards the ground, is what will get that club a little steeper. We're trying to move towards the opposite. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit this. I'm gonna do it as a little drill. The reason I'm gonna do it as a drill is because if I tried to demo this in a full swing, it wouldn't be particularly good because this is not a move that I'm particularly good at. I tend to steepen the club a little bit in transition, which is why I'm on YouTube and not on the PGA Tour. But let's go ahead and do it as the drill. So I'm gonna go up to the top and I'm gonna work the feeling. Then I'm gonna work that feeling with rotation. And then once I'm here, I can just go ahead and just chip it off the tee bag. A little bit at the toe, but it actually had a little bit of right to left flight on it. And that's really all I'm trying to do initially with that drill is trying to just appreciate what's actually moving, where the club's gonna go, uh, how it's gonna feel at delivery, how I'm gonna be able to rotate the body. Ultimately, I wanna try and blend that together, but that's a really good sort of level one drill if you're trying to take out some of the steepness which is in your club shaft uh, on the way down. Notice I did that with the driver. This would apply you know, right through the bag. So uh, generally, if you're a little bit steep with the driver, you're probably gonna be a little bit steep with the irons as well. So maybe try it with a six iron, tee it up a little bit. Don't be too concerned with the results. More focus on them moving to the club, getting that correct. Uh, and if you are that golfer who steepens the club shaft, hopefully you'll get it a little bit better by using that drill. Right, thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments box, topics you'd like me to cover. Really wanna make this channel more about you. Give me some feedback about these videos. What would you like to see? Topics, uh, content, let me know. Uh, and hopefully you can help me grow this channel to something which is a little bit more suited to you, the viewer. Thanks for watching. Usual stuff is below. Comments box, like button over there, little logo. Click on that, it allows you to be a free subscriber. Would love to have you along for the journey. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you back here again soon.